OMG, what? Follow E. OMG, who? Follow E. OMG, yeah, follow E. Who that be? Hell, that be me. Follow E. What's up? OMG, follow E. Gang, gang, gig, 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 gang. What's going on out there in YouTube? Where are they, baby? Well, today, y'all, we are going to do some old school southern style salmon croquettes. So we're going to get started, okay? But I want to thank all the mothers, the fathers, aunties, grandparents, anybody that is taking care of kids. I just want to tell you I thank you, I adore you, and I appreciate you so much for all that you do. So let's get started started before people start complaining even though you can fast forward if you don't like the answers and you want to see what the food is all about you can always fast forward okay so i'm going to start off with the pink salmon i have two cans of this it doesn't matter about the name it doesn't matter whatever you have in your store that's called pink salmon just get you a couple of cans of pink salmon okay what else you're gonna need I have green onions, no, I'm sorry, I have bell pepper and onions cut up in here. If you want to add a little garlic, you can, okay? That's optional. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm not doing it today, but sometimes I do. I'm not doing it today, though. Then you're going to need a couple of eggs. I'm going to need some eggs, okay, y'all? And some people use breadcrumbs. I don't like to use the breadcrumbs because it dries out the croquette to me so i'm gonna use some flour okay and this is all purpose okay flour so that is pretty well much what you're gonna need so i've already taken it out of the can so i'm gonna move y'all over here to show you how to get the bones and everything out of here okay let me make sure y'all don't need to look at me y'all need to look at the food just scoot the can over here a little bit but it's basically you just have to mush it and you're gonna mush it anyway so just like that bone is right there we're just gonna take that right on out of there okay and these little fine bones they're not gonna choke it but we just want to get that big bone out of there okay and normally it'd be in the big part of the fish not in the little parts but in the big part and you just pick it apart and you can see it just like this big part right here. So we just going to dig that out. Because we don't want it. We don't need it. <laughs> we don't need it. Okay. Okay. And you can scrape some of the little fine pieces off. I do sometimes. Not all the time. Because you're not going to you're not gonna taste them. We just want to get that little bone right there out of there. Okay. And y'all, I do not add any salt into this because it already has a lot of sodium in it. So I don't add salt. But I'm going to show y'all what I do add into it. Just a little bit. Get a little extra flavor. This is not going to take but a minute. I'll leave the skin in. The skin has flavor. So we're just going to mash this on up and make sure... That there's no big bones in none of these pieces. Okay, so we went through everything. And there you go. Let me rinse my hands. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the bell peppers and the onions. And we're going to add it into this. And y'all, this chopper right here is going to be your best friend ever. If you ever purchase this, okay? So, you got to eye how much you're going to put in here. Because I'm doing two cans, I want to make sure everybody get a little bit of somebody. You know what I mean? Okay. If we need to add some more, we will. All right. Let's just get to mixing so we can see if we got an even amount of bell peppers and onions up in here. When we make these patties burger. Now, me, me being who I am, y'all, I'm going to add me a little more. But that's just me. You add what you like. I'm going to give me a big one more handful, okay? Maybe a hand and a half, okay? 
So I chopped up one whole bell pepper and one whole onion, but I'm not using all of it, okay? But I just wanted to make sure I had enough. I think that's enough right there. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to add, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. I'll say about a um, tablespoon. And I'm going to add in a little bit of onion powder as well. It just depends on how much you have. And people, I eye my stuff. I tell y'all that all the time. I'm from the South. I don't have to measure. I'm not a measurer. Because I can just eye it. And just for a little bit of some, some, some. Hold on, y'all. Let me grab it. We're going to add us a little obey. A little bit ill obey. Shake them up, shake them up, bay. Okay, a little obey. All right. And then for a little bit of an extra little kick, we're going to add just a little bit of cayenne pepper. Do it to your amount of taste of heat, okay? Now, while we're doing that, we're going to go in here. Since we did two cans, we're going to do two eggs. And y'all, I got several videos I'm doing today, so y'all might not see me change clothes. Okay. So if you need to add another egg, if it don't have enough moisture in there, you can always add another egg due to the fact you adding, uh, we're adding um, bell peppers and other stuff, but I think this might be moisture enough. If not, I will add another egg. Sometimes I do three. Just depends. Because we want that extra moisture. You know what I mean? I got to give me some more eggs, y'all. Good thing I don't need no more for the next recipes. I'm going to do three. Let's go with three instead of two because I'm looking, I'm eyeing it. I know what to do. That's why I'm showing you. Get that good in there now, okay? Let me get a spoon because we're going to get some flour out. And I want to, I need a spoon for it. Okay. All right. And while that is doing what it's doing, I already have the stove on. The oven on, but I have it on a low heat. So while we're still working with the mixture, we're going to go and get that hot. Okay? Because we got to mix that egg up and then we won't see no more yolk. Okay. That smells good right there. I'm telling y'all we do. Okay. Let me get this flour. Okay, now, the way you have to do this, you have to add a little at a time. You can't add a whole bunch, so we're going to start off with one good scoop, and we're going to sprinkle it out through there. One good scoop for right now, y'all. Mix it. And when it feels like it's kind of toughening up a little bit, where you can make a patty out of it, that's when you're going to know you don't have to add no more flour, okay? All right. I think I'm going to need two good scoops for right now. Two good scoops. Not two. And then we're going to spread it like we did the last time so we can mix it good, okay? So, there go two good scoops. And that thing, this is going to work because I can see it right now kind of thickening up. Well, we can make these patties. Okay. Yeah, when it starts sticking in that spoon, baby. We can make these patties. And we can make these patties. Yep, we can make patties now, baby. And I took a little bit of the moisture. We need the moisture. So when we get ready to fry, 
we have that moisture, okay? And we ain't in no rush to fry these, okay? So, we're gonna put it on not medium heat, but I'll say if you have a, uh, I'm using a cast iron skillet, but if you have like um, a electric stove, you can put it on seven or you can put it on six, but I got mine on seven and we're gonna take our time. So we're gonna take this spoonful and we're gonna put it in our hands and we're gonna make them patties. Look at that, look at that patty. That's a patty, it ain't gonna break loose either. It's not gonna break loose. You can make it as big as you want. Just like a hamburger patty. I'll make it like a hamburger patty. Okay. You can make a beer, you can make them however, what size you want, okay? Try to do them uniform. I try, but honey, it don't always work. It doesn't always work. I'm going to fry these bad babies up. And then I'm going to make some rice with it. And that's what we're going to have. And this is good for breakfast. So if y'all like these here, you know, you can use this for breakfast. You don't have to use it for dinner. Especially if your kids can like salmon like this. I'm going to make one more. I think I got enough for one more. This might be, now, let me see. Might be one to two more. Might make one a little bigger than the other one going to be a little little. <laughs> That's for the little people. The little kids, they don't need the big one. We make little bitty ones for them. And you could take it and crumble it up in grits, or you could crumble it up in rice. I prefer rice. Okay, let me wash my hands so we can get over here to this stove, honey. Right, y'all. The oven is stove is ready. Let me move y'all over here so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. We'll bring these on over here. And we're gonna start the process of frying these bad babies. And I use regular vegetable oil. You can use canola. You can use whatever oil you choose. I'm worried about this big one I made. But see, you got to let them rest and fry on the side. A lot of people mess them up because they move them too fast. And you really got to take your time with these. Huh? I'm going to just leave those. And then I can do my last four afterwards. Clean up as you go, baby. Clean up as you go. I'm going to make this a small video as much as I can. You see how I'm letting them sit there? You got to let them sit and sit. They got to sit. A lot of people move them too fast. Okay, I'm going to clean that little bit up, baby. You see that brownness that's coming around there? Now, when you see that brownness that's coming around that rim right there, now you know when it's time to flip. Because it has gotten that brown texture. See that? See that? See how beautiful that texture is right there? That's what you want. That's what you want to see. You flip them too early, they tear up on you. Make sure you got a good spatula.
Ooh, look at them patties, baby. And you could kind of press them down a little bit. Just a little bit, not a whole bunch. We just want to press them down a little bit. And that's it. Just a little press. Not anything that you're going to just make it flat. You don't want to make it flat. You still want it to look like a Simon croquette, okay? I'm cooking this all the way so y'all get to see all of it. Y'all don't get to see a little bit. Y'all get, get to see all of it. Let me put some stuff away while y'all waiting on that to see how it really looks when it's done. Y'all gonna be confused and how to fix these patties. So we gonna need a plate with a napkin because we don't want all that oil. So we're going to need a plate with a napkin on it. So when we get ready to take it off, we won't have all that oil on it when we get ready to eat it. It doesn't take any time to cook this. This is probably one of the quickest meals. You could go ahead and mix it, put the flour in it, make the patties, put it in the refrigerator. It'll be ready when you're ready to come home and cook the meal for your family. I'm telling you, this is like the easiest meal that you can make with some rice. With rice. And since I make mine a little thicker, I don't make mine little. I like mine to like really show me like that little bark right there. I like to reflip them one more time. That little bark right there. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Gotta be careful with them though. That one right there kind of trying to act a little funny towards me. Mostly they be perfect though. See? See that little bark? Then you can mash it just a little bit. You don't want to mash it a lot. Like I said, we're not trying to flatten them. We're just putting a little applied pressure on it, okay? I just got popped, y'all. See how much I be thinking about y'all? I don't mind getting popped. So these are basically done. The little patties are done. They're done. Uh-oh. That one tried to tear up on me. Normally my patties are beautiful. I'm going to just flip that one more time before I take her in prop self out of here doing her own thing. We don't do that, honey. We go with the flour. So we're going to add in the last four that I have. I think she might not be acting right too. Okay. We just wanted to make sure she was where she want, needed to be. Okay, y'all? Let's get us a thumbnail out of this here. Let me wipe my hands up and just Put that in. Let me get a thumbnail on this meal real quickly. Y'all, I really appreciate y'all. I have had so many, I'm sorry, good comments um, from a lot of people that like my channel and the way that I cook. And I just appreciate y'all. 
I'm going to do a mukbang on this one. Um, I have one that asked me to cut into things and do stuff like that. But I'm going to do a mukbang on this video so you can see me actually eat it, cut into it, and really see it, okay? So you'll get to see it. So let me get my thumbnail. All right, I want y'all to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, uh, hit that bell button, uh, comment down below, uh, uh, comment down below, and come back following OMG, what, follow E, OMG, who, follow E, OMG, yeah, follow E, who that be, hell that be E, all right, that's me, okay, I'll see y'all, peace, boom.